Hey, what's up all you crazy vatos out there? So this is how you make a supercell. Yes, are you listening closely? First you need optical flats. What's an optical flat? Basically, it's like so flat, it's like unbelievably flat. Here's your Edmund Scientific. Um, typically uh, three millimeters to six millimeters thick. You can go upwards of 10 millimeters, but you don't want them too thick. So these are not just like flat. They're like flat. Like super flat, okay? You can find them. Just type in optical flat, okay? Now here's this neat stuff that's been around since World War II. Mouse milks, right? How many mice how many mice does it take to, to get mouse milk? Actually, this is uh, tuline, naphthalene, 9% isopropyl alcohol. It is like 80% tuline and naphthalene. The smell of this stuff is toxic. It's toxic to your eyes and skin. It's basically like a ancient version of WD-40. That's basically what it is. You can find it online. Then you need some ferrofluid. Good ferrofluid, not crappy ferrofluid. Okay, the best stuff actually is UV sealing glue, where you actually just apply the glue and you hit it with the UV light and instantly seals up. But you can also use, not super glue, but super glue gel. Okay, let me repeat that because it's kind of a squishy once it's, uh, yeah, you use that as a sealer. So what? you do is, I got a couple droppers here. I'm gonna take three drops, depends on the size of the cell. On these, it'll be like two drops of mouse milk, and then one big giant heaping drop of ferrofluid in the middle of that. First, you can't, you have to do them in this order. You have to do two drops of mouse milk, or three, depend on the size of the cell. These are three and a half inches. Two drops of this stuff first, okay? First, first. And then, in the middle of that, one heaping drop of ferrofluid, or if it's a larger cell, two heaping drops of ferrofluid. And then what you do is then you got the drops right here. You take this piece of glass and then you, whoosh, boom. Make sure you uh, use a blower to get all the dust off before you actually put the drops on because you don't want nothing in there. So you put this one on top of this one and whoosh, and then you squish all the bubbles out until it's squirting out the edges, and then you hold both of them together, then you wipe off the edge with like a rubbing alcohol, and then you go around it with a super glue gel. Has to be gel, not just super glue, Gl gel, okay? This is gel, okay? Gel, super glue, gel says right there, I think. Gel, different than super glue. Um, and then uh, you wait for it to dry, like an hour or so, and I use a hair dryer to uh, cause the, uh, the uh, glue to dry ultra fast. And you go down to the hardware store and you get some of this crap. These are bright white LEDs, you can get RGB LEDs, and then you ring them, you know, like this, so the light is shooting inwards, okay? Right, and then what you're gonna have to do is that the light will be shooting inwards, but there'll still be tons of spurious light coming up in your face in the other direction, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna block it off with like a... Black duct tape, the best thing to use is that silver aluminum ducting tape. And uh, so you're blocking off all the light other than the light that's shooting inwards into the cell. And then, boom, there you have it. On one side, the best thing to do for contrast is take some black construction paper and just tape over one side because the field penetrates everything. And then you use that as the bottom side, right? So you have these two pieces on top of each other and glued together. And then the uh, lights and then the tape, and then on the bottom you'll put some black construction paper, okay? So that's how you make a supercell. Mouse milk, ferrofluid, gel, okay? A couple of these eyedropper things, or like, uh, you know, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Optical flats, okay? Not window pane glass. That works, but it don't work too good, okay? It does not. It's like comparing a Volkswagen to a Lamborghini. It's like, well, will window pane glass from the hardware store work? Yes, the same way a Volkswagen will work compared to a Lamborghini. This is Lamborghini glass. It's optically flat. It's ultra, ultra flat. Okay, there you go. I hope you like this. This is the first video of its kind online. Show you how to make a supercell. Okay, yes, there is nothing better than mouse milk. Mouse milk, you can get this, you get a, this, by the way, there's enough mouse milk in here to make like 10 billion supercells. There's enough ferrofluid in this uh, two ounce jar to make like another billion super, I mean, you're only talking two drops and one drop, you know? You feel me? Great. If you like this video, click the link below, make a tiny donation because that's awesome because I'm telling you the secrets of making the holographic, the magnetoholographic viewing a supercell. That's right. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.